K Diddy is my favorite player. <laughs> I do. It's a real mustache, baby. Who's is better? Definitely mine. Coach Jay has brought a lot to the team this year. One of the main things being elite hitting. His Arizona Wildcats finished the season fourth in the nation in batting average at 325. They also led in total hits, 80 hits higher than the next team. Coach Jay has expressed that the offense will be the strength of the Tigers going into the spring. We want to be a complete offense and do what it takes to win on any type of game. It could be big ballpark, small ballpark, winds blowing in, winds blowing out, day game, night game. Might be facing an elite pitcher where it's going to be a 2-1, 3-2 type ball game. Or it's going to be 14 to 10, you know, sometimes on a Sunday or a Tuesday. And really have the skill set uh, to be complete to whatever that game calls for that day that we are in tune with that. Um, you know, really going slow with our training right now, really trying to get players in a good mindset, into the right approach, uh, into the right simple fundamentals. Nice job. What? What? Won't be late. Good job. You guys get ready to play defense. Just need one guy to read the safety. Brody. Come on, Gio. Come on. Good, that boy. Three, two, two, two. In the SEC, offense is key when facing elite arms every weekend. So he and the team are preparing thoroughly. Oh my gosh. It's a base hit all day. Freshman Dylan Cruz tacked on 18 homers himself, one short of Dugas's 19 that led the team. That's the one. Automatic. Oh. Dude, I don't know how he does this. What? How does he do that? With his fingers. This little hand gesture. This little hand gesture. He does it fast. You're wet. Dude, how are you so wet? That's hot, bro. That's so Which I am. That boy thick. Oh, look how wet that is. Cruz was at the top of the lineup in the lead off or two hole for the majority of the season, leading the team with a 362 average and 29 multi hit games. I really believe that we'll have probably one of the best lineups in the country for sure. Um, you know, from the leadoff guy to the last guy, I mean, we got, got a lot of talent in this lineup. Um, offensively, we can put up some great numbers, and I believe all around this whole team, from the pitching staff to the offensive guys that we have, it's going to be uh, going to be a good year. One bat standing out this fall is transfer Braden Jobay, who is a redshirt sophomore. And she'll be here when I need you the most. Don't let me know. That boy Trey. Two, two. Four, four, four. Yup. Four. Four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get three. Get three. Get three. Oh, I'm there. I'm there. Down, 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 down. Um, you know, I'm just trying to stick to Coach Jay's plan and what he's trying to drill into us and trying to um, get our foot down early and be on time and get into a good launch position. I've been putting some good swings on some balls and it's been working out for me. All right. Little honors. Little honors. Oh, that works too. 
Two triples? Two triples? Oh no, I'm staying. K. Doty is buying into the new coaching staff's philosophy and is looking to put it into practice for the Tigers. It's a lot of pressure with this mic, man. I feel like I hold some type of power. I would have done my makeup if I knew I'd be on the mic today. Thanks. So this fall, we've been uh, doing a lot for our offense. You know, we got a lot of talent, but uh, I mean, we just got to really buy into what Coach Jay is teaching. And I think that so far we have done that. And um, I think the sky's the limit for us. And um, we're, we're really ready. Stop playing with me, Kane. You're not better at bunting than me, man. Yeah, Watch. But I'm going to do it more. <laughs> But I'm going to do it more. Oh. Hello, buddy.